Hey, hey, it's Tiana Christine. I am your yogi and tech coach. And guess what? I got some great, great news for you. This is going to change the game. Did you know that you can now stream IG Live on your computer? Yes, 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 you can. You can now stream IG Live on your computer and I am going to show you exactly how to do that. All right, let's get into it. All right, this has been, I feel like this has been something that has been just, answered specifically for me because I really, really, really have been wanting to go live from IG and from my computer and use all of this goodness that I have. So finally, finally, the prayers were answered and I am going to show you how to use IG live, use an Ecamm and make it a bomb setup. All right, let's get into it. Now, let me tell you before I even get into it and before I even share my screen and all the things, if you, it's not rolled out to everyone. So if you have it, you'll know, all right? And let me show you actually how you will know that you're supposed to have it, all right? So let's go ahead and let's get into this screen share right here. Let me go ahead in the demo mode right here. I'm gonna move myself out the way just for a second here. And let me just get to move myself out the way. So if you have your video and you go to create which is here and you go to live video and you see that option here you are good you are golden that means that you actually have the setting if you see just a post where you can create then that means you don't have the setting and it hasn't been rolled out to you officially but don't worry don't fret it will come, all right? So let's go ahead into it. I'm gonna go ahead and click the live video option and we're gonna go ahead and do an IG Live uh, Ecamm demo. Now you can do it in audience mode, which means it's gonna go live to everybody, or you can do it in practice mode. So if you do it in practice mode, then you'll be able to actually do that from the comfort of just yourself. Maybe you can send it to other people and you'll be able to see how that works. All right, so let's get into the practice. Now you're gonna have to copy down your stream key. Now just keep in mind that the stream URL is gonna stay the same. The stream key is gonna change every single time. So you will need to put that stream key in every single time you go live. Now this is a bomb feature and I can't wait to share it with you. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this stream. All right, we're getting ready to press that live button. Are you ready? Let's go ahead and press the live button and we're gonna go live right now. All right, here we are, we are live now. Keep in mind that even though you go live here, you also need to go live over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my screen and I'm gonna bring in my phone so that way you can see exactly what I'm seeing. Boom, now you can see me live. It's a little bit of a delay because you know it's bringing me in in a delay. Now, if you'd like to change the outside format of where you are, I'm gonna come back into my regular default screen. I'm gonna come back into live mode. If you'd like to actually make sure that you are coming in full screen, full picture, you will have to make sure that you are bringing it in in that certain way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you know and share with you what I can see. All right, so here we go. Now I am in full screen mode because it is zoomed in to just this part, just this angle. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. It's going to share my screen because it's, it's sharing my screen, but if I came in full on, full angle, just to show you, it will come in completely normal. Now, keep this in mind when you are going live because you're going to have that lower third option there. So you are live, you are, you are here. All right, so see here, it says click to go live. All right, so it's a little extra feedback just know that that's there. 
um, let's go ahead and look at the screen so if you look here at the screen you have that option to share so you can share to whoever you'd like to share it to and send it out to now keep that in mind you can always see um, and bring it in so I'm actually gonna bring it to yoga with Tiana all right so let's see I'm gonna send it so that way we can bring it in and see what it looks like here all right now let's go ahead and bring in what's next I am going to go back to my screen here now I want to show you what it's gonna look like so I'm gonna go ahead come back out to my main camera and I'm gonna pull up my phone and see kind of what we're seeing here there we go so let me go here let's go ahead and bring in the camera right here right here yes yes I love it all right so what this is saying is if I go here and it says there is a live video going on so now you get to see my live video you can go in and watch this live video and boom there I am right now you can see how everything is framed up and that little piece in the corner that you're seeing like right in the corner of my face that is actually this bar so if I move it out just a little bit more and make sure that I center myself within the frame there we go you get to see everything that I get to see within the frame how awesome is that how awesome is that I love it I love the fact that you can actually now be able to get IG live to show up right on your computer how crazy is that now I'm gonna go ahead and come up out of here you can see comments so I'm gonna type in a comment um, hey we are live and go ahead and post that and you will see you can um, pin a comment as well if you come out actually out here on the regular mode and I can also interact and I can say hey I can type on my computer if I can actually do all the things there so that's a good way for you to be able to go live right here from your from your computer using your fancy camera using all your setups using that good old Ethernet Wi-Fi that's what we want to see we want to see that good crisp quality now you cannot bring people in and do a live however if you have interview mo mode on your uh, ecamm and you have the pro edition you can bring people in to interview so keep that in mind as well if you'd like to bring in people for an interview you can also do that so that's something that you can do and you can say okay I want to bring in a guest and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let you see that you see the guests right if I want to go ahead and bring in a picture in picture and I want to add my picture here boom we can bring that in uh, so just keep that in mind if you want to add multiple guests you can add them but you have to make sure that you're you're bringing it in the right way so that's definitely something that you want to keep in mind right if you're ever bringing in any guests so I hope that answered a lot of the questions and also one other thing before we end if you are going to do some type of IG live with Ecamm you have to end it on the, the both places so if you start it on Ecamm you have to end it on Ecamm and end it on IG live because if you don't end it you're gonna have to make sure you have both another thing is you're gonna have to make sure that you have your archive saved so if you, let's go out of here I'm gonna go back to the actual live that I'm in you can see here I'm not live because I'm in demo mode but make sure if you go to archive and you go to live archive that you actually have that mode set because if you don't it's going to delete and it's not going to be available on IG so just keep that in mind when you are doing your lives that you have it archived now it will be archived if you save it on your ecamm but you want to make sure that you also save it um, back on your other one as well on your actual IG because it's already set up with the 16 by 9 and everything's already straight so you'll have 
two versions, right? You'll have the IG Live version and you'll have this nice widescreen version as well. So keep that in mind. I hope that this helps. I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions about Ecamm or going live on IG Live. Just remember, if you're gonna go live on IG, there's a couple things you need to remember. So with the Ecamm software, you're gonna need that stream URL, you're gonna need your stream key. Stream key is gonna change every single time you go live. So remember, you have to change it. Also, once you go live, that you have to remember you're gonna be within that confines of the 16 by nine box. So also keep that in mind. Another thing is you will not be able to bring in guests that are going to be top and bottom. If you have interview mode set up on your Ecamm and you have the pro version, you can go live and just bring them in that way. Another thing is you won't be able to see the stickers or interact with any of the filters. Make sure you got your LUT, make sure you got all your features and everything enabled within your Ecamm because you can manipulate all your cameras just like you normally do. And then one last thing is before you end, you have to make sure you end in both places. So end it on your Ecamm and end it on your IG Live. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to go ahead and click the like button and go ahead and follow me for more great tips. Happy, happy filming and happy streaming. Can't wait to see you in the next one. All right, peace.